Vibration Detection Alarm Presented here is a security alarm, using a vibration sensor element, for protecting doors and windows. It can also be used, as a luggage or locker protector. The circuit gives a beep, when it detects even a slight vibration. It is compact, battery operated, and can be enclosed in a small box. It can be used in different ways, to sense mechanical vibrations, to activate alarms and other surveillance systems. We are going to interface, SW420 vibration sensor element, with a triple five timer IC. These are the components, which are needed in this project. Triple five timer IC, eight pin IC base, 2 10 kilo ohm resistors, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 100 microfarad, electrolytic capacitor, 1 red LED, 1 buzzer, vibration sensor element, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery. To power up the circuit, this is an on-off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three different modes, monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in monostable mode. This is the symbol of vibration sensor. When there is no vibration, then the resistance between the terminals of vibration sensor is very low. And when the sensor detects any vibration, then the resistance between its terminals become over 100 kilo ohm. Initially, when there is no vibration, then pin number 2 of triple 5 timer IC is connected with the positive supply voltage through the vibration sensor and buzzer is in off state. When this sensor detects any vibration, then due to high resistance between its terminals, sensor does not allow the current to pass through it. So pin number 2 of IC, connects with the ground supply through this 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now pin number 2 of IC, gets a low signal, and triple 5 IC, gives a high signal at its pin number 3. We have connected a buzzer, at the output pin of IC. Buzzer will not beep continuously, it will on for a predefined time, and then it will turn off. Timing of output pulse, can be changed, by changing the value of this resistor. On time of the buzzer, can also be increased or decreased, by changing the value of this capacitor. On time of output pulse, can be calculated, by using this formula. These components will be used, to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker, to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer, to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter, to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch, inside the hole. Now we will solder, the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor, will protect the LED, from high voltage and current. Now we will solder, the power indication LED, on the PCB. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base.
Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Short the pin number 6 of IC base with pin number 7. Connect pin number 8 of IC base with positive supply voltage. Short pin number 8 of IC base with pin number 4. Now we will solder the 100 microfarad capacitor. Now we will solder the vibration sensor element. This element does not have any polarity. So we can mount it by either way. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Connect pin number 2 of triple 5 timer IC with the joint of 10 kilo ohm resistor and sensor. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base with the ground terminal. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive and the other side is negative. Connect the positive terminal of buzzer with pin number 3 of IC. Connect the negative terminal of buzzer with the ground. Now we will plug the triple 5 timer IC on the 8 pin IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.